Oh my god, hey! Hello! It is a new day here in New York and we have finally made it to Central Park. As you can tell by all the park that is currently surrounding us. Um, but we are, yeah, we've had a very uh, busy morning being given a tour of New York by a very helpful local. We went for brunch at the Westway Diner, which was delicious. Um, and also very good for celeb spotting <laughs> as well. I had chicken on a waffle, which I love because I love chicken and all things sweet and that was delicious and there was so much chicken oh my gosh and what did you have? you had an omelette of some description yeah I had a what was it? it was a bacon broccoli and broccoli omelette love it omelettes here are so good like but I would never order one in the UK because uh -huh. I'd be like oh it'd be really sad but here they're massive and it comes with like potatoes and I haven't had an <clears> omelette yet but I'm very jealous I'll have to have an omelette soon and then we went on a bit of a walk uptown and we saw the all ABC sorts of places studios. we saw the abc studios we saw the original actors studio we saw gosh so many places lincoln we saw center. lincoln center we walked all around lincoln center we saw the vivian beaumont <laughs> theater we saw the fame school we saw the fame well, school where it is now yep the new new york high school of performing arts as referenced in fame <laughs> and a chorus line okay. we saw juilliard M school mcc we saw mcc we saw a theater where uh, Wolf play is currently being produced. Not oh. one that I think we'll have time to see, but we got a lot of recommendations. Apparently, it's meant to be great. We went to, um, we saw the buildings that were where the construction site was, where they filmed West Side Story. We did. We saw. Oh gosh, yeah, we saw um, buildings uh, where <laughs> towers. Wasn't it? The, yeah, where the original West Side Story was filmed. There's just an incredible. Obviously, not as much like historic history as in London. Um, yeah. because it's just it's just not as old but <laughs> in terms of like theatrical culture yeah. and entertainment culture so rich yeah. so so rich I'm sure you could study the history of all these buildings and there would be fascinating trivia about all of them and today <laughs> having a bit of a calmer afternoon ahead of our show this evening we're off to see Shucked which yeah. is exciting because we've heard such great things yeah. and we know next to nothing about it like none of the music no really none of the plot only that really funny really fun and i'm always on board for that like i'm i'm excited i'm excited to really truly discover something knowing absolutely nothing about it so that is later but for now chilling in central park yeah having a lovely day so this here is the Bethesda Fountain, is that what it's called? The Bethesda Fountain? Also known as the Fountain from the play Angels in America in Central Park. A very popular spot. Okie dokie! Hey! So it is later, we had a lovely walk around Central Park yeah. and a bit of a sit down um, yeah. and it was nice and chill. Oh my god this line! Oh, Aaron, look at the line. That's a shirt line. Wow, okay. So, we are now um, uh, down uh, at the Nederlander Theatre yeah. to see Shucked. Sure. We're here to see Shucked. We're excited about this one, people. Yeah. Uh, because the word of mouth has been really fun. Yeah, really, really fun. good. Yeah, just like funny and fun and original and good. And we know nothing about this show. It like, reminds me of the word of mouth that come from away got when it opened in the West End and everybody was a bit like, will it work here? Yeah, and it did. but like more like lighthearted than <coughs> emotionally momentous. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, um, but I've heard none of the music from this show. No, I, I've heard like, I've heard one clip, which was of the rehearsals of Alex Newell's song. I haven't even listened to that. I just heard it was good. <laughs> I couldn't so, tell you because I heard it like literally like once and then I was like, okay. Yeah, it feels kind of crazy to be going into a Broadway show knowing nothing about it. But also this could be a really exciting experience. So we're here at the Nederlander Theatre, we're on the other side of the street and the line is long. Yeah. The line to get into the theatre is long. They better not all be buying merch because I want some. Oh yeah, I know. We've just had a nice, <coughs> uh, very casual dinner at <laughs> Stromboli's, I think it was called. It yeah, was on Stromboli's like, and it has like a... I live in NYC Pizza, so yeah, NY Pizza, so I don't know if that's... We're not 100% on, on the title, on the name of um, uh, the, the takeaway restaurant place, uh, but it was on 46th and 9th. Listen to me sounding like a New Yorker. Uh, here we are. Look at this, everybody. The beckoning yellow glow of shut. Look at those framed windows of corn. Oh my gosh. It is the corn musical. It is, it is a show about corn. That is really, 
that is really it here at the Needlander Theatre. Finger licking fucking me. <laughs> we are queuing up for Shucked. We are approaching the theatre and we're giving these stickers. This lighting is terrible. Stick, stick, focus, focus on the sticker. There we go. I got shucked on Broadway and technically I didn't such yet. At such a time as I have been shucked on Broadway, then I will wear the sticker. But if I was to wear it prior to getting shucked on Broadway, it would simply be false advertising. Okay, so we've gone straight to the merch booth. We have a tote bag here. We have magnets, we have key rings. You can see there's a little, that is a little pin badge there. On the tote, there's also another style of tote down there. We have a t-shirt here. We have, those are jumpers and pullovers. We have up here, we have shot glasses. You can see the prices of everything over there. You can get a t-shirt in a tote. That's a jumper there. There is a trucker cap. It's all going on at Shucked. Okie dokie, let's talk about the Shucked drink specials. We have corn to be wild and an all your spritz. Wow. And then over this side over here, we have more. We have a cornographic Cosmo, chilled gin of the corn, a honk if you're corny, and a west of Manhattan. So many drinks options. And let's not forget the snacks as well. We have, we have some corn snacks going on here everything you could expect at Shucked. Okay, we have picked up our playbills and we are sat down in the orchestra in J5 and 7. It was a little bit confusing finding our seats because we still haven't wrapped our heads around how seats are numbered here on Broadway. Even numbers are on the right, odd numbers are on the left. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with this view for Shucked. You can see we have a whole barn situation going on here. There's some corn growing right out of the stage. This is agricultural AF. Have you something just realised? What have you just realised, Disney James? have paid a hell of a lot of money. Because Disney have got their show on the back of every single playbill. Good for Olivia Coleman, but like, can we please have her on the stage again, please? Yes. Do you want to tell everyone the drink that we got? Do you remember what it was called? I do remember what it was called. I do not. It was something you might do in a oh, car. Oh, honk if you're... Yeah. Corny? Corny, that's yeah. the word. It's a honk if you're corny. You almost said the real one then. <laughs> I mean, I nearly got shucked. You nearly got shucked. I'm feeling very corny right now. This um, is so cute. Uh, yes, we got a double. We're going to share it. This is a show that has really good merch. It does have really good merch. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're in the interval right now. We've given a mid show standing ovation. We have given a mid show standing ovation. Halfway oh, through act one. Oh, one. End of that one. Alex Newell stopping the damn show with the song which I'm guessing was called Independently Owned. Yeah, and I also am just going to say Alex Newell Effie when. Alex Newell Effie when. 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 We're here to bring you the drinks review. We have the honk if you're corny. And this is a new honk if you're corny. We've got a second one. It's that good. This is an instant five star. Yeah beverage. It's so good. And I totally understand why, like, when, Amer when Americans, like, people who are used to Broadway come over to the West End, they're always telling us, like, this whole thing about, like, restrooms. I understand. I take it off my own. I'm sorry. Toilet queues here. Ridiculous. Restroom queues, I should say. There's only, like, one men's restroom in the whole theatre. People don't arrive that early, so they all go in the intermission. Crazy. Crazy. Um, but we did manage to get a second drink. So, yay! More corn cocktail for us. We're having a great time. Let me show you the merch. I'm not going to show you the merch. Do I have time? Kind of. This, this just means it's back. beginning to start. Okay, I'll show you quickly what we got. I got the trucker hat. I wanted this and I got it. This is the first cap I've bought. Um, I've bought a couple of jumpers so far. Aaron's been buying the hats, but this time he's bought the jumper. I really like the t-shirt too. I'm going to hold up, I think. This is cute. This is cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold up. I really like the t-shirt. <laughs> He's going to think about the t-shirt during the second act. Um, and somewhere in there is a pin badge as well. We will show you when we can find it. Um, but shucked! Having a great time. And two, and two, and two.
Okay, I did not know that you could actually see ghost lights at the end of Broadway shows. Look at this! It's a ghost light! It's an entire ghost light. That's so cool. We don't have safety curtains going on here, so we just have ghost lights on the stage. I kind of love that. Oh my god, hey! Hello. It is a new day. Yeah. So, we saw Shucked last night, and we have not stopped talking about it. Oh, so good. We love Shucked. It was just so much fun. Alex it was Newell. so fun. Yes, yes, that Alex Newell. That is the number of the season, I think. The newest, that's the, probably the best new song that I've heard. Yeah. Do you think they're going to let Alex do that on the Tonys? I mean, how could you not? He gets a standing ovation in the middle of Act 1. It's one of those, like, standout <laughs> number moments. He gets a standing ovation in the middle of Act 1. Yep. And Alex Knoll is the most known person in that show. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. We went to... What's the bar we went to afterwards? Haswell Greens? Yes, Haswell Green. Opposite the August Wilson Theatre, where Funny Girl is, where Mean Girls was. Um, which was nice and chill on a Monday night. Yeah, cool, cool Very quiet. Inside. Again, meeting new friends, meeting yeah. very cool people. Um, everyone's been lovely. Everyone has been yeah. so nice. It's been nice, so nice to like, put, like see people in real life that like, we've seen on TikTok or Instagram. Yeah. It's like the Broadway influencers yeah. or Broadway, like Broadway peeps. Yeah, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of New York theatre people get the concept of being a theatre influencer a lot more readily than maybe in the UK. Not that people are like against it in the UK, but you say it here and they're like, sure, that's a thing that we understand the value yeah. of. Rather than the UK, they're like, you do what? That's so interesting. Um, but yeah, we're walking around now and getting some photos that we haven't got. I'm wearing my parade jumper so I can go take a photo in front of the parade marquee, which is over here. And we got schmackeries again. This time we both got shucked cookies because I want to try one post shucked. And then we're going to go find Drama Bookshop and Yay! some other places as well. Okay, so we have been strolling around, taking some Instagram photos outside of theatres um, because... That's what we do now. That's what we do now. <laughs> and like, it's been hard because we've been at the theatre and it's been already dark. Yeah. And it's been crazy queues and it's been, it's been busy. So we're going back when it's a little bit calmer in our merch from the shows to take uh, the photos for Instagram. So you can go follow us both on Instagram to enjoy to enjoy all of that good content. Then we just went to the Drama Bookshop, which is a very cool oh, yes. uh, venue, a very cool bookshop here in New York, which is co-owned by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Yeah. One it's, of the people that bought it. It's not new. It existed, mm -hmm. but then it was gonna never exist again. Yeah. So then they saved it he saved and then it, moved yeah. it to a new location. So this is like the new Drama Bookshop that's just called the Drama Bookshop. Yeah, but it's so cool. So it's nice vibes. Lovely vibes. Like yeah, they've got loads of amazing books. <laughs> they've got libretti and they've got books about the history of theatre and they've got just a load of other very exciting things. Yeah, they have um, some really cool displays. They had loads of stuff about Shucked at the moment. So they were doing a themed Shucked drink. You got it. What was it? The Cornucopia. The corner, Golden Cornucopia, I believe. Was it nice? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Review from Aaron James. Um, and they had the set model box for Shucked and they had some costume renderings and it was very cool. All very cool. And we're back. We run into our friend Kate on the street. It's crazy how easy it is to bump into everyone. Yeah, New York is weirdly small considering it's huge. Yeah, I, I feel like it's not bigger than London. Mm. Which I never thought. But then we, we, we're only really in Midtown. <laughs> like we're just talking about Midtown. We've not like we've gone up as far as like a third of the way up Central Park, maybe. And I think that's as up as we've gone. And we've gone down as far as like um, at Penn Station, and that's probably. Yeah as low as we've gone yeah. so that gives you that gives you a bit of a sense um but yes coolest thing about drama bookshop what happened at drama bookshop we walked him yeah and i said to mickey literally five seconds before we walked in everybody's told me that lynn is just like a bang and lynn manuel miranda loads. yeah and then we walked over because I was like, I want to get the shook drink because we just had shook cookies and I knew they did shook drinks and yep. I was fancying a drink. Yep. Before I got that, the person that was standing at the coffee, just by the, buying a coffee, by the coffee, talking to all his staff, yep. it's Lynn. Lynn Manuel Miranda, for like, for like Tony five, winner, for like five, MacArthur Genius Grant recipient, Pulitzer winner. For like five to ten minutes, we were literally just standing. Yeah. 
Like it was just us two, the staff, and him. Just chilling. He was just having a nice conversation <laughs> with like, the folks working there, and we were just like also there, just like hi. But it was just like so quiet. Like yeah. it's not the environment in which you expect to run into a legend, a legendary musical theatre composer. Are you so chill? You just so chill. chill. Very chill. Very relaxed. Very real human being. Just chilling, chilling at Drama Bookshop. Yeah. Um, where apparently he is very often. Which I'm planning to now go to and work out. Well, I was planning to go and work there for most of a week, not yeah. because of that. Over the two weeks we're here, maybe we'll build up the courage <laughs> to say hello. Hi. And and we'll see, we'll see where that goes. But yes, now we're on our way to um, uh, Rockefeller, Rockefeller Plaza, Rockefeller Center. Yeah. Rockefeller. Do we stop at Disney Store on the way? Yes. Are we going to go yes. It? yes. 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 We'll stop at Disney Store on the way. We're heading up uh, towards Times Square at the moment, heading up Seventh Avenue, um, and we came this way last night after Shucked to go to the bar that we were going to with friends, and we saw a pig being walked on a chain like it was a dog. A literal pig. An actual pig. Literal, <laughs> literal pig, and it went into Starbucks. And everyone seemed incredibly unfazed by this, including the people we were with. We were like, does this happen often? They were like, no, but also not a surprise. Okay, we're in the Disney store, going up these very cute stairs with these lanterns. In this cute. Also, I'm obsessed with this. Rather than a play bill, it is a quack bill for Donald Duck. I mean, a bill, he's got a bill anyway. That is his bill. It's a quack bill. I love that. Oh my god, hey! We're at Rockefeller Plaza, Aaron's eating a bagel. Mm -hmm. A bagel in two halves, because it's huge. A nice gluten-free bagel from, what's it called, Black Seed Bagels? Mm -hmm. There you go. I had a focaccia that was bigger than my face. It was huge, so, so huge. I would have shown it to you, but my hands were so greasy from the giant, giant focaccia. But we are... From Red's Bakery. Bread, uh, bread bakery. bakery, yes, bread bakery. Amazing focaccia, enormous. We're now at Rockefeller Plaza. You may recognize the iconic statue. There it is, the iconic ice rink behind us as well. And let me show you the building. Look at this building up there. We are here because we are going to be doing the top of the rock, which is a very, very high point. We haven't really yet done anything super high up and had a great view of the Manhattan skyline. Aaron, are you excited? Are you nervous? Have you got bag around your face? Yeah. <laughs> I like that this golden man looks like he's falling because that is very indicative of how I would be on an ice rink. That to me is, that is, that is some accurate theming going on there. We're in a lift, we're in an elevator. We're going up. There'll be more to show you when we get to the top because currently it is just, it's an elevator. We have tickets. Exciting and terrifying. It's okay. That was not the whole thing. We're in an art exhibit on the mezzanine level now. We've had our tickets scanned. Yeah. And as you can see, it's very red. It's very red. Ooh, there we are. There we are. Hi, us. Ooh. Ooh, yellow. Now it's yellow. This is, this is a sensory experience. <laughs> Welcome to Top of the Rock. That was the elevator. We're now on floor 67. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, I hate these doors. I hate revolving doors. There we go. Wow. We have two more floors to go. My ears popped. Aaron, did your ears pop? Yeah. Yeah. Ears popping all over the place. We just had a glimpse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, we're going outdoors. Oh, wow. This is the New York skyline, everybody. We've been among it for a few days now, but we haven't yet gotten high enough uh, to really glimpse the whole thing because the buildings are so tall when you're on the street. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I think I can see the Statue of Liberty over there in the distance, in the river. Is it? I think there. Yeah. There. And here's the view uptown from the other side of the observation deck. Obviously, we have Central Park, where we were hanging out yesterday. <coughs> I can just about make out uh, the boathouse and some of the other spots that we saw, but you can see just how vast it is. 
<coughs> and we can see the East River over on that side and the Hudson on the other side and then New Jersey over there beyond it learning that is New Jersey yes learning a little bit of New York geography just about but it is huge I kind of want to be able to see the street I don't know if we can get actually close enough to the edge to see the street anywhere but I want to see how high up we are I suspect Aaron probably doesn't want to and here we are on the very top level no screens up here and you can see all across the New York skyline Wow that's amazing that is absolutely amazing I don't think we can see any Broadway theatres from here because they kind of run parallel in streets going across like that and they're not skyscrapers um, but what you can see is this very impressive skyline of buildings Okay, we are back on street level, on the ground. We are walking down 49th Street, I think. I think so. 50th right. Street. It's one of the streets. It's one of the streets. Heading back to our hotel for a little bit of a pit stop and to get changed for this evening's activity. Well, we have some Applebee's. Oh, well, we found Applebee's. It's good. Applebee's, yet another store here in New York that has just a really great marquee. Could be, could be a theater. Um, but we got some beverages. Aaron, what have you got? I got a Caribbean passion from Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice, and I have an uh, uh, pineapple and passion fruit lemonade, which is very nice. <coughs> and we're gonna head back to our hotel and then we will let you know what we're doing this evening. Oh my God, hey, where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> He's over there. Sorry, <laughs> taking a bit of the... Say hello. Hello. There we go. Uh, we are here this evening at another Broadway show. I've yeah. got my sparkly blazer back on with a sort of a fuchsia turtleneck situation uh, because we're at another glitzy show. You super can't see what it says. Uh, it's Some Like It Hot. We're yeah. at the Schubert Theatre for Some Like It Hot. Um, very excited about this one. Great cast, very intrigued. Don't know much about the show. But I've seen the film. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's be, be bad. bad from Smashing. Though. Let's be bad from Smashing. Is so we're basically seeing pseudo smash. Yeah. And we're very excited about that. So we're going to head inside. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what the front of the theatre looks like because it's stunning. Loving this theatre. Yes. Going to head in, going to look at merch, going to get drinks. All the usual. Going to go see a Broadway show, everybody. Look at the Schubert Theatre. I'm obsessed with these light bulbs it's a gorgeous looking theater here on I think we're on 44th Street I've lost all sense of where we are but this is the Schubert theater you can see it has one of these new relatively new screens up here showing you the poster and then also some different scenes from the show I mean it's a great advertising technique but also this very classic awning here out front and the light bulbs this is so New York I love this. Schubert Theatre, Some Like It Hot, a new musical comedy. That just looks so classic. We're gonna go inside now. What are we thirsty for? We are thirsty for Some Like It Hot. Okie dokie, this is our cast this evening for Some Like It Hot. And the role of Spats will be played by Casey Garvin, and the role usually played by Casey Garvin will be played by Ian Campaino. So we appear to have an understudy on and a swing. Love that, love that for us. Another day, another themed cocktail list. We have the Prohibition Party Punch, a darker shade of blue, Blue, Sweet Sue, Society Shirley, or a Toodaloo. Aaron's gone to the restroom, as they call them here, and he's left me in charge of deciding what to order. It's either going to be the Prohibition Party Punch or the Toodaloo. What have we got here? Ooh. Vodka, Prosecco, Orange Liqueur, Cranberry Juice. I think it's going to have to be the Prohibition Party Punch. There we go. I've come to a decision, everyone. Okay, okay, so we are at the merchandise booth downstairs at the theatre. You can see the prices of everything just here. And up on the shelf here, you can see some of these. We have the show artwork on a t-shirt, on a baseball cap there, in a nice blue. We've got a nice t-shirt here as well that says sugar. We've got some socks. I love when a show does socks. We've got a bottle, we've got mugs, we've got a luggage tag. We've got, I believe that's a second pin, a What Are You Thirsty For t-shirt. Now I like that, and it's a long sleeve. I do like a long sleeve top, 
is it a little bit provocative to walk around in a top that says, what are you thirsty for? Mmm, weigh in in the comments. And then we have a zip-up hoodie. Oh, I like a zip-up hoodie as well. There's also a tote bag over the other side. I'll show you in just one second when I can get round there. We've got a luggage tag as well. You can get a closer look at some of those pins. We've got a engraved flask, a magnet, another little um, ornament there. And this is the tote bag as mentioned before. Okay, okay, we are sat down in the Schubert Theatre. We're in the orchestra N2 and 4, which we thought would be on the edge, but we're not. We're on the interior aisle. These are great seats. You can see the stage there. It is very blue. Aaron taking the all-important program shot. Uh, sorry, playbill shot. How quickly I revert. And tonight, we have a couple little additions to our playbill. We have this here because there is an understudy on as well as a swing, so this tells us the cast for tonight's performance specifically. And then we also have this. So tonight is Kids' Night on Broadway, uh, where I believe Kids Go Free. Is that the initiative? Yeah. Kids Go Free on Broadway, and this is a 2023 activity book. We come to you in an intermission. We're having a nice time. Having a lovely time so far. Yeah. It's a different kind of this is a different kind of cup. This is another show that's like very Broadway, very musicals. The best choreography I think we've seen so far. Yeah. So far, I love tap. I love tap. Broadway does tap better. Because when I was thinking yeah. like, what other shows do tap this well? They're like Definitely. Broadway creative teams. It's been crazy few and anything goes. Yeah. Yeah. Broadway, Broadway choreographers. Yeah. Well, they, like Newsies, I'd say. Is part of that as well. Yeah, but they don't use tap as whimsically and as thoroughly as in this. No. There'll be British shows that have like a tap number, but not. Prove it. Not yeah, prove it. and not quite as like euphoric tap. I love good tap. I'm, I'm very, I'm very infatuated with tap. Um, drink review. So we had a prohibition party, something. Rewind if you need to hear what it is again. I, I just said it moments ago for you. It was an hour ago for me. What did you think of it? It's a three. It's not my favourite so far. And it looks like a vodka and a prosecco. Yeah, I miss the rum. I miss last night's rum. I do. I've been converted. Nothing really sings in this one. I mean, it's fine. It's fine, but were I to return, I would try another one of the drinks first. But there you go. Those are there's a bit that's been the beverage review. We're going to watch the second act now. Thank you for joining us for this intermission special. theater goers and we invite them to come to a show for free with a full paying adult um, and so we're happy to have all these wonderful beautiful little faces in the audience tonight Yay! I'm gonna my first show. I, was, I was 18 when I saw my first Broadway show um, but it was a Casey Nicola directed show uh, Drowsy Chaperone and here we are so, the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, the teachers, the, the, those people who have brought the kids, for giving them a moment of live theater. It's something so special. We thank you for giving them this opportunity to come and experience live theater. And also, if you ever stick around, some of the cast members will be doing a Q&A after the show. So if you want to, stay in your seats wherever you are in the house. Kids Night on Broadway. Everyone get home safe. We love you. One of my favorite things about working on this show is the people. Um, we come into work every day and we are surrounded by these amazingly gifted, beautiful, diverse, 
unique individuals. And every day, you know, no matter what happens, we come together and we put on the best show that we can. I like the way that this show seems to make people feel. Um, I, I, I love meeting people after the show and, and um, getting to, to feel your reaction, I think, for me, is really special. You don't always get that with a show, and this, this show has a really special message. What were you doing when you first found out you were cast in the show? Ah, I was uh, getting ready for a rehearsal for six in Boston at that time. Woo! I got hired to hire the band, and that was really exciting. And then I hired myself, which wasn't as exciting, because I know it's going to be great. I was actually at IHOP with my kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my manager called and I was like, what? 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 <laughs> I was doing The Lion King. Uh, I was closing Dear Evan Hansen in front of I was across the street at the Marquee Theater about to do a show of Beetlejuice. I got a call on the street. I was in the middle of teaching a group fitness class and it stopped my music and I'd go over my phone and it said my agent's name on it and I clicked to stop it and then I called him back later and that's when I found out. <laughs> uh, it was the week that we were closing down fire and uh, I was at a dance studio with my kids taking them to dance class. <laughs> So I was also working on Mrs. Doubtfire, and I was taking the dog for a walk. I got the call. I was visiting my family during Christmas in 2019. I was um, on tour with Hamilton, and I was on the phone with my managers telling me that I didn't get another job, and they waited to the end of the phone call to tell me that it was okay because I got this job. <laughs> I honestly didn't start doing theater until I was in high school. I played the sports and I did like the marching band and all that kind of thing, which like goes back to what Gabby was saying about being very versatile and all the things because um, I just like didn't know that this was gonna be my future until I started to realize that I'm kind of a crazy kid and needed to find a way to contain all of that energy and excitement. And it just wasn't getting out there on the football field as much, you know? Um, so when I was five, they enrolled me in ballet and I had my first ballet recital. And when I was six, I did my first musical. I played Gretel in the community theater's production of The Sound of Music. And from there, I just never stopped. I loved it and um, kept training and kept going and, and never, never stopped. doing eight shows every week. Jay, how do you do it? On a wing and a prayer. <laughs> well, that was very special. Yeah. Not only getting to see a Broadway show, like proper glitzy Broadway show, all the tap dancing, all the costume changes, <laughs> lovely, 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 um, but also Kids Night on Broadway and yeah. a fun surprise Q&A with kids asking questions to Broadway stars and seeing their first show. I'm quite emotional. Actually, I, I'm also finding it funny, like how we've ended up staying late in theaters so often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but does it feel late? No, it does not. No, it doesn't feel late. Something about today. New York, uh, like this time of night, does not feel late whatsoever. No, after a West End show, you're like, you come out and you're like, and now the journey back. But I wonder if that's because we're stopping at a hotel really close to the hotel to the <coughs> theaters. Maybe, maybe. Good news. We, uh, so the Schubert Theatre is right next to Junior's Cheesecake and we came out right by the takeout window so we got Junior's Cheesecake that we're going to eat on our way to Marie's Crisis. We're going downtown to a piano bar called Marie's Crisis. I'll tell you about it tomorrow because you can't film or take pictures. Uh, so you can't come with us but I will tell you all about it tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for another night on Broadway. Yeah. Oh my god, hey, I'm just leaving the hotel, literally. It's there behind me. There you go. It is a new day here in New York. I am surprisingly sprightly, um, given that I don't know how much sleep I got because we uh, we went downtown last night to go to Marie's Crisis. That's the most downtown I have been this entire trip. Um, and I think we got back at 3 a.m. Like it was a long night of singing show tunes at a piano bar, which was amazing and cool. It was like this little queer basement of musical theater singing with everyone around a piano. The staff were amazing. Franca, who was the pianist, 
was exceptional, like the vibes were immaculate. She had also been one of the cast members in Dear World that we saw on Saturday night, so that was great. And she played a little bit of Dear World, we got to have a sing-along. We also did like all of the expected things. We did Wicked and we did Rent and Tick Tick Boom was a highlight. Tick Tick Boom, oh my gosh. I'm on my way now to 45th, I believe, or 46th. Uh, to go and meet Aaron and another friend for lunch that we haven't had a chance to see yet since we've been here. We've been very social, very social considering um, we didn't realize we knew so many people in New York. Is that the street? That's not the street. I need to keep going. We're going to a restaurant called Bond 45. It's Wednesday, so we have two shows today, but we're doing an early lunch um, at Bond 45, which I think is near the Richard Rogers, where Hamilton is. So maybe I'll show you a sneak peek of Hamilton. Maybe I will, if you have if you've behaved yourselves. And then it's going to be on to Kimberly Akimbo afterwards for the matinee, which I am just so excited about. I can't even tell you. So many people have asked when well, we've been chatting with people since we've been here, are you seeing Kimberly Akimbo? And very excited, very excited for that one. Okay, I'm I'm late for lunch, but this is a passing glimpse. You can see that's the Richard Rogers Theatre. There's Hamilton. I'll come back later um, in this or in another video. Yeah, I'll I'll, sh I'll show you in more detail. Oh my God, hey! So we just had a great lunch at Bond Forty Five. Yeah. What did you have? You had like a gluten free pasta. Yeah, like a gluten free spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, nice. Creamy. Thing. I had chicken milanese, which I love. I was going to have blueberries, but then I don't know how much time we're going to have to eat between shows, because we are seeing, there it is, Kimberly Akimbo today. So this is the booth theatre here where Kimberly Akimbo is playing. I love this colour. I feel like, I don't know, I have this whole weird thing where I feel like various shows just use the same colours all the time, like everything's either red or pink. I'm not looking at anyone in particular down this street, but I love a show, Unafraid to Use Teal. I just love that. We just got these little buttons at Kimberly Akimbo, thanks to Showscore, my good friends at Showscore. So we can rate this on Showscore and be entered into a sweepstakes. Love that for us. A little bit of Kimberly Akimbo Showscore promotion going on. Here is the company of today's performance and the stage management and the conductor. And at this performance, we have a role that will be played by an understudy. There you go. Okay, okay, we're downstairs um, at the theatre, but Erin, while I went to the restroom, has already raided the merch booth. This it is very happened. cute. Look at it, show us the sleeve. <clears throat> yeah, it has... I don't understand what this is. I later. like your point of view. I already know what it is. Yeah. And we've got a cap as well. I say we says, because I am going to steal it. Because shit in life better. Shit in life better. Yeah. That's a cute cap. It's cute colours. There's yeah. not a lot of merch I in these colours. this is my thing. It's oh, my show, us the show us the pin. Show us the pin. Pins. It's a set, Pins. rather than just one. Pins. They also Love do that. the necklace, you know, like the candy necklace. That's oh, the tempted. Let's go see the rest of the merch yeah. booth. Okay, okay, as well as what we've already seen, you can see we've got some socks up here. We've got a tote. We've got some mugs, and that's the little candy necklace Aaron was telling you about as well. And there is another t-shirt design that you can see there as well. Okie dokie, we are sat down in the orchestra, we are in K116 and 117, and this is our view for Kimberly Akimbo. Look at this little house. Look at that pre-show, very intrigued about this, very excited for the show. Oh my god, hey! Hello. So we are back from the theatre. We just saw Kimberly Akimbo, uh, which we really liked. And now we've come back to the hotel to have a little break in between. So we have some time in between the matinee and the evening show. I don't know if I've actually said this yet. The evening show today is Bad Cinderella. It's their last preview before they open. Their opening night is tomorrow. 
and we are seeing it. It's also Andrew Lloyd Webber's 75th birthday, which feels serendipitous. Uh, but in the meantime, before I get changed, because I'm extra and I have an outfit change for Bad Cinderella, we have pizza. We have Emmy Squared Pizza, which we got the night we arrived yeah. in New York, uh, but that was down at the pizza place, and this time it's in bed, which I think is going to make it even better. And we have more Junior's Cheesecake um, that we had less than 24 hours ago, but I wanted more, so... That's happening. It is a little after half seven and we are heading back out on the town. We've gotten very casual at this point about going to Broadway theatres. Less than half an hour to the show. We're going to stroll over. Um, it's not that far though, to be fair. It's not that far. No, I'm wearing a nice pink uh, velvety blazer situation. I've dressed for Hades Town. We're not seeing Hades Town. Aaron's dressed for Hades Town. This is my. This is as close as I can get to the show's marketing colours because I refuse to wear red and pink together. One small piece of business we did not attempt to earlier at Kimberly Akimbo, beverage review. Oh yeah. We had a Dirty Deborah. Yeah, it was alright actually, it was quite nice. What, 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 star, what star rating does that correspond to? A four. Mine is also a four. It, it wasn't my favourite. It tasted a little bit like the Shook's one, but not enough. It's no, like peachy, yeah. It's like that peachy nice vibe, but I miss like it wasn't sweet. It was like sweet. I missed you know? the rum. I missed the rum. Yeah, it was just a bit. I know it was fine. I it was nice. That you're missing the rum. This I know. I'm a convert. I'm a convert. That shucks drink. Worry about. Like, Listen, yeah, the like, honk of your corny. I am apparently, as yeah, it turns that out. Was, that was the best cocktail we've had so far. Yeah, yeah. I would see Sh no, I wouldn't see Shucked again just for that because I want to see Shucked again. I'd see Shucked again for a host of different reasons. Do we want to cross here? We yeah. can cross here. Um, we have to go one block over to get to the Imperial Theatre where Bad Cinderella is playing. We've walked past it several times yeah. this week. I don't know if I've shown you yet, but you're about to see the theatre, the one where it's happening. This is the evening, people. This is the day. This is the moment. This is the day. Here it is. I don't know how well you can see this backlit screen, but what you can see is the giant billboard. Huge, huge billboard for Angela Webber's Bad Cinderella. In fact, that's also where the queue goes. But I just want to show you this front of house here at the Imperial Theatre. We are finally going in. The show that made me get on a plane and cross the ocean is Bad Cinderella, everybody. Okay, these are the drinks they're doing special for the show. We have the Water Party Mocktail Punch, the Bad Cinderita, and the Belleville Bellini, which we have just ordered. About to get ourselves a Belleville Bellini in one of these cups. Okie dokie, let's talk about merchandise. We have this cute little bag. Ooh, this is a cute little bag we have here. We have some badges, we have magnets, we have a little tumbler, we have stickers, I believe, compact mirror, we have a little neckerchief uh, tie situation, I think we have a phone case. I've, this is the most merch I've seen in any Broadway theatre so far. The bucket hat is calling to me from on high. So in terms of clothes, we have these bucket hats, reversible, you can see both sides. You can have the t-shirt, you can have a little long sleeve situation there. There's another t-shirt over the other side, another type of hat, and a jumper as well. So many different merchandise at the Belleville Boutique. Okay, we are here in Belleville, aka the orchestra of the Imperial Theatre. And if you hadn't noticed, we may be in our best seats of the week. We're in row D. 105 and 106 right here in the middle we are only four rows from the front we are going to get a very close-up experience for bad cinderella we have our program sorry playbills i'm still stuck on that we have our playbills as aaron's modeling here we've got the drink as well i also got a bucket hat i will show you later when i am done being completely overwhelmed oh i will also show you we got given these little maps little map of Belleville in case at any point during the performance we become unexpectedly lost. It's changed a bit from the West End arrangement map. The, the map has changed the from the West End? Yeah. You memorised the map? Yeah. But it was on the outside of a the theatre so you just You're so much better at geography than I am. <laughs> These details, I couldn't have told you this was a different map. But there you go, I'm going to take this home and study it. I need to become fully versed in the lore of all things bad Cinderella. I can't believe this is happening. I don't know about any of you. We're in the intermission right now. Um, I don't know how long we have because they're dinging the bell. Um, but 
This is the bucket hat, everybody. It's reversible. I'm going to reverse it um, here for you. Are, you. are you actually? I am. Look, there's the other side. There's the other side. <laughs> there's the other side. There we go. And you can see a little logo on that side as well. What do we think of the themed beverage that we had? I didn't love it. Not my favourite. Maybe we ordered the wrong one. I think so. I think this one wasn't like free tuna. Interesting that like the top one on the board was a mocktail. Do you think they're going for the youth? Yeah. Maybe. Do you think that's they're pulling? Maybe. And there was a lot of merchandise, a lot of like teen merchandise. They pushed really hard for TikTok, so maybe. I feel like it's it's for the young people. Thank you all. 
Ten more seconds. I'm Mickey Joe Theater. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>